hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl AZ Nee Williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video okay guys so you all remember that V and Neo were in Ghana some days back and they were warmly welcomed and all that then later on they had to leave um ghana back to nigeria you all remember the whole incident that happened when that fan or supposed fan did a video that everything they bought for v she did not take it whilst neil took it well for those of you that do not remember here is the video these are the stuff we give v this is supposed to be her box with her name inscripted on it they are presents i mean her presents because new pigness on this is supposed to be for her and this you remember this again all, all the things we bought for her the girl didn't pick it up the girl didn't take anything away anything oh, oh. so she left all our gifts the cake everything she didn't even touch it so that is the report on the ground i will, i want you guys to bear with yes guys that is the video of the Ghanaian fan you know ranting that how could V do this that she has been ungrateful and all that you all know and I also did a video on that and I also gave you guys reasons why I think V might have left whatever it is that she left there and I also wanted v to come out and address this issue so days passed v didn't say anything but um last night she took to her instagram story well she went on instagram live actually and she addressed this issue so guys let's watch this video and hear what v had to say somebody else are you still in ghana okay guys one of the reasons why i really wanted to do this live was to get something out of the way uh let's say let's call it a rumor or a piece of fake evidence that came onto the blogs a few days ago now initially when i saw it out on blogs i wanted to do the usual do a statement and say no this is a fallacy what you're seeing on every way is a lie it's a fallacy i could never do it but um i feel like no i need you guys to look at my face when I'm saying these things. Firstly, anybody that's met me, anybody that's a fan or a supporter, that knows me, that has had some form of physical experience with me, would know that that video is a bull crap. So now, with the thing with Ghana is, we didn't know we were going to Ghana until the day that we arrived in, the day before we arrived in Ghana. I put a lot of emphasis on the fact that I wanted my time to be in Ghana really private because it was meant to be a transit stop so we could go to Dubai. So the actual plan was to go to Dubai, which the fans had actually organized. Thank you guys, love you guys so much, even though it didn't work out. And yes, Ghana was meant to be really private and that is the absolute opposite of what we experienced. And if anybody knows me, people know I don't like going out. I don't really, I like to be in my own space. And for me to get there, and it was something completely different. I know you guys saw me at the embassy in booty shorts. That wasn't meant to be the plan. The day before that we travelled, I remember telling one of the organisers not that I didn't want a crowd at the airport. My request was blanked. And we did get one. And I was still grateful either way. Now, let's go to the gifts, yeah? So, bearing in mind that I had packed two full suitcases of stuff for Dubai and that didn't work out. We had to go back to Lagos. I didn't have any space. And we had to wake up around three o'clock in the morning to get our stuff to go together to go back to Lagos. Now, me being me, especially with the fact that I wasn't really feeling well in Ghana, I forgot to tell one of the organizers that I wanted her to pack the gift and send it back to Nigeria. So they've now come to our room a bit earlier than expected to drop us back to the airport. Now, the thing is, when I arrived in Lagos, that video was the first thing I saw. So I saw the video before all the blogs did, before some fans did, before people did in general. And I thought, the agenda is real because 
you see that I've supposedly left the gift in the hotel room and you don't even give me the benefit of the doubt or you don't feel like you can ask me okay what happened we, we got back inside the hotel room I don't know why they went in the hotel room in the first place I don't know what they were looking for but they're looking for my panties on the floor um, you didn't think to ask me okay V what happened um, we saw that the kente was left behind nothing though your first instinct as somebody that supports me is to make a video incriminating me making me look like a bad person and send it to group chats now let's be very logical as soon as you make that video and you send it to somebody it's going to go around it took me one hour it took me one hour it's a one hour flight it took me one hour to see that video and i was really disappointed bearing in mind that there were so many other factors to this trip that i will not be discussing but i wasn't feeling well and nobody asked me how i was nobody asked if i was doing okay nobody nobody cared and when the agenda doesn't suit you when something doesn't suit you you decide to go forth and make me look like a bad person okay okay uh i'm sure you can hear the disappointment in my voice i'm sure you can hear the annoyance um but um i'm used to being drunk by now they used to drag me from time to time it is a uh, part of our daily bread um so uh i can't really say that i'm surprised um i still get a lot of dms saying v why did you leave the stuffs in the hotel in ghana i did not leave the stuffs it is all a big misunderstanding anybody that's given me a gift before or gifted me something should know that i am always very appreciative of the gifts that my fans give to me there is nothing too small nothing too big nothing that i will not appreciate i just wish that person gave me the benefit of the doubt so to my Ghanaian fans that are seeing these kind of things and you're upset i do apologize that the person misunderstood what the situation was but i will not apologize for something that i did not do thank you we will never speak on that subject again so guys you've heard v she really really explained everything um if you listened attentively they were to um go from ghana to dubai you know and i think it was the fans that were supposed to sponsor that but something happened it didn't work out she basically explained everything about her suitcases being filled how um the fan didn't even like get through to her how she really wanted the private settings and private everything but everything fell on deaf ears and all that so um you've heard V's um you've heard V's reply I want you guys to be the judge of this what do you guys think do you think that V's explanation is good enough do you think that the fans acted irrationally let me know what you think in the comments section thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video till I come your way again I remain your darling girl a Z N Williams. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Bye, guys.